Hey, Jimmy Jam, how you doing? Hey, Jimmy Nice, it's your Gary Root. Welcome back to another weekly health advice from Spirit. Anybody new, thank y'all for coming. Anybody been rocking with me, thank y'all for coming back. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to have a little twist. I uh, found these cards and I said, wow, let's, let's use them, okay? Found them in the uh, Five Below store. So each time I do the, um, you know, I pull three sets of cards and I'll do a uh, pull a wisdom card. See if it goes into um, everything and give us some advice, okay? Okay, so let's get started, Jimmy Jam. Close this door. Sorry about that. <laughs> How y'all we going? How y'all been? Hope y'all been good. <laughs> I don't know why they came out, Jimmy Jam. Hope y'all take care of y'all help and everything. The door's been opening for y'all. It's great. It's wonderful. And uh, we all learning these lessons so we can move to these other levels, right? So, yeah. Let's see what they want to tell us to work on. Things we might have forgot or just not, not listening. You know how we do. <laughs> we don't like to listen. Okay, the first one is wait. Forgive someone today. Deceased are living for your health and forgive yourself and for their healing. Okay. So let's talk about it. Okay, the weight. Uh, when you, like I've been saying before, and I've noticed myself, when you forgive people, you um, heal your body. You know? Uh, any weight problems, you won't be worried, you won't be worried what people say or what they did say, and, you know, you forgive yourself anything that you said, you apologize, you know, and uh, even if they don't apologize to you, you go ahead on anyway and forgive them, and all that make the weight leave, you know what I'm saying, but that stress and straining and, and worried and, you know, confusion and fear. That, that causes us to eat a lot, or if your metabolism is slow, then uh, you could eat a little bit and you still gain and you don't lose the weight. That's because it's, it's uh, spiritual, it's inside, it's a psychological thing, you know. It got to do with forgiveness and for how you feel about yourself, you know what I'm saying? Mistakes you've made, you know. So uh, learn to forgive yourself. Let me see, where is that? That is the... I'm thinking it's the third chakra, okay? That is uh, solar plexus chakra, yellow. Uh, lotus, ten petals, moves in clockwise direction and connects to the virtual auric body, pancreas, stomach, liver, spleen, gallbladder, small intestines, abdominal, sterum, and back, inner peace, personal power, self-confidence, self-worth, self-acceptance and trusting and accepting our gut feelings self-esteem relating to the world around us yeah so, uh, if you're having any of those problems that's probably why you know so work on that okay next one is our butt paint your walls fun tray with bright colors to help your mind open up so you don't feel boxed in so our butt uh maybe it's restroom related <clears throat> That got to do with that third chakra too. Um, try to look on here and make sure. On the first chakra as well, um, it says lotus four petals uh, near the sacral sacral chakra, bottom of the spine, moves in a clockwise direction and connects to the physical arctic body, lower back. Arenal glands, blood, skeleton, feet, knees, hips. Teeth, nails, rectum, and spine, physical stability, security, self-sufficiency, and responsibility for self, connect to the earth, survival instincts, how you feeling about yourself, your body, okay, and, um, you know, you're self-conscious of your butt, or, you know, or work on an exercise, you know what I'm saying, there's ways to make it big, ways to make it small, you know, um, if you're in a restroom, like I say, you know, you um, clean your body out, you know, and then you want to, 
you know, have your surroundings that you that put things around you that you love. Have people around you that you love. The people that boost you up. Don't put you down, you know. Wherever you go, get, bring you something with you that make that gives you joy, that gives you strength. You know, also also your protection stuff. Okay, don't forget about your crystals and everything else. But yeah, stuff that gives you strength, that makes you happy in the house. You know, different colors. If you need to paint your house, so the room you're in, do it. Or maybe just putting up a painting or uh, a poster board or, uh, you know, some kind of something that shows outside or whatever you like to look at, you know, that'll help also. Okay, and the next thing is skin. <clears throat> Please love the skin you're in. You're beautiful. You're, you're wonderful. Beautiful skin, okay, inside and out. Don't dislike your, your, your skin color. If you need to take care of it, you know, take your good old bath, candlelight, music, peace, you know. Have your surround. Ooh, this, this thing is really going. Protection of, uh, what is it? Um, um, I can't even say the name of it. Dragon's blood. It is really popping out. But yeah, um, so yeah, take care of your skin and stuff. I was trying to see on, on the chakra wheel. Was, um, had anything to do with skin? Mm, no, just maybe self-esteem. Maybe you, you know, feel like your skin color is not the best. But hey, you, you we chose to come here in this skin color. You know, and it's wonderful. It's beautiful. You know, even if you're, uh, I heard something the other day, maybe you came back, you were white before, and now you're in a black body. Could be lessons you need to learn because of that, or vice versa, you know, and uh, learn those lessons and learn that culture, you know. So let's see. Let's go ahead and do a chakra wisdom, and let's see. Um, confidence. Let's ask the question of confidence, okay, and see you know, and uh, being secure, like I said, the first chakra, and you, you know, let's see what it want to say to us about that, regardless of how you look, look in the mirror and say, I'm beautiful, I'm fine as ever, I just need to tweak this and tweak that, but I'm still good whether I tweak it or not, you know what I'm saying, love you, so I'm poking out, okay, we're going to take this one, the fifth chakra, throat chakra, I teach others how to love and respect me by how I love and respect myself, okay? My integrity is supported when I express my thoughts and feelings. I am aware of ex excessively wanting to please others. I will maintain a growth and grow my personal power by saying yes when I mean yes and saying no when I mean no. I speak up for myself and I set boundaries regarding other people's behavior. I do this by asking for what I do want, such as respect, patience, tolerance, and support, rather than telling them what I don't want. Okay, there you go. Okay. And you know y'all good at communication. Um, Gemini, y'all the communication sign. Let's see what else. Let's go a little bit deeper. <clears throat> Fifth chakra, expression and communication, both verbal and nonverbal, are the themes of the fifth chakra. Some mystics believe that the throat chakra is responsible for the telepathic abilities that are often associated with picking up, excuse me, on the thoughts of others. You may be experiencing these abilities when you know that the phone is about to ring before it does, or when you know who is on the phone before you answer a call. From an energy viewpoint, this kind of telepathy is possible because every living thing is connected by the energy that flows through the chakra. When this, this excuse me, when this chakra is in balance, we are considered and thoughtful with our communications and aware of how they affect those around us. We are able to express our needs and our desires and maintain true personal integrity with our communications to speak our truth without being hurtful to others when this chakra is out of balance we are likely to be over talkative 
and to speak without about nothing in particular. In this state, it is very difficult for us to listen, and those around us are unlikely to spend very long listening to us. When we have depleted energy in this chakra, we are likely to be uncommunicative, or we give unclear messages in our nonverbal communications. Okay, throat chakra. So uh, color blue, wear some blue, okay? And uh, 16 petal lotus. So yeah, just um, be clear, be honest. You ain't got to fake with nobody. You don't want nobody nothing. You know, y'all like to have fun and stuff too, but be straight up and truthful with people. And so they can be straight up and truthful with you because if you bull crap and they're going to bull crap you too, you know? It says moves in a clockwise direction. Uh, let's see the fifth chakra. Um, and connects to the lower mental oral body, the thyroid, throat, mouth, teeth, jaw, neck, ears, arms, bronchial tubes, upper lungs, shoulders, and tongue. Communication, willpower, truthfulness, setting boundaries, expression, effective communication. Okay, so that was, that was pretty good. So make sure y'all communicating with yourself first and foremost, being truthful with you. Okay. Let's go to the next set, Jimmy Jam. Let's see what they talking about. Okay. That was pretty good. <clears throat> okay, let's see. The next set is going to be about Jimmy Jam. Let's see. Okay, arthritis, what works to get rid of it, what you're eating that hurt it. Okay, yeah, so what are you eating? You know what I'm saying? What are you not eating? You know what I'm saying? Um, that that makes it hurt, you know? What are your shoes that you're wearing? Are you wearing quality shoes? You know, are you, your posture good? Are you exercising, you know? Um, taking a good old bath and massaging and slapping it, like I always say the Chinese people do. You know, certain foods that'll trigger it. You know, my, uh, most I find out is tomatoes. Um, well, for me, being an A, tomatoes, I can't eat mangoes anymore, oranges. Uh, uh, can't think of what else, but, you know, you can look it up yourself and you'll find out for your blood type. Make sure you know your blood type. So, yeah, finding those things out and eating good meals and Mother Na I, I've got a lot of Mother Nature's uh, plants outside that I get that help. And, you know, I have to eat them in moderation as well because too much anything ain't good for you, you know. So, let's see on the chart what is uh, for arthritis, pain. I'm trying to see hands, shoulders, lungs, upper back, uh, two kidneys, da 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 da. That's teeth, nails, my intestines. Okay, so we're going to try. Uh, okay, so it go back to the fifth chakra. Same thing. Because uh, it's uh, thyroid, throat, mouth, teeth, jaw, neck, ears, arms, uh, shoulders, all that could be affected. And um, hands over the fourth chakra. Heart chakra, uh, color green, lotus, 12 petals, middle of the chest, moves in an uh, anti-clockwise anti direction and connects to the astral, your body, or emotional aura, Th thymus, heart, lungs, circulation, hands, shoulders, breasts, and upper back, love, generosity, compassion, and forgiveness. Giving and receiving unconditional love. So that could be a whole lot of reasons. You know, could have, be having arthritis. Either you're giving too much. Okay, we can't give too much. You have to be a balance. Or you're not giving enough, okay? So that can cause that as well. Okay, that's the next one is face. Get rid of moles and skin tags. So if you've been seeing, feeling insecure about your face, you know, do ex face exercise all online. Get online. You know what I'm saying? And uh, find out how to do the face exercises. And I told you I, I like those. And uh, lips, put your head up. 
kiss 50 or more times. You're uh, using the muscles in your lips as well as tightening your, your throat. And uh, so it won't be saggy. And then find out ways to get rid of the moles and skin tags. There's all kind of easy ways, you know. Just start working on yourself if, you, if you're insecure about that. You don't have to get in the facelift. Just be you. Wearing too much makeup, stop. You know, let your face breathe, regardless of what anybody's talking about. Who are you pleasing anyway? It's supposed to be pleasing you and being happy. That's what it's really all about. Learning the lessons and staying happy. All right? Okay. So let's see what the wisdom card has to say. What are we going to ask? Um, staying secure? Staying uh, self-love? Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can do a little something, something right here. Okay, let me. That kind of soft. Okay. Yeah, I gotta love you. Let's see what they want to tell us. It might say something that's needed. Okay. I'm sticking out nothing. Okay. I like it when it falls, but I will pick it out too. Okay, that one stayed in my hand, y'all. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> it says, first chakra, base chakra. I know what my needs are, and I actively pursue them, knowing that I will be guarded and provided for when I put in the effort. I open myself to all possibilities and participate fully in life. I use my imagination and my vision to initiate what I wish for and I pursue it. I am not waiting to be rescued. I am not a victim. I am strong. Hello. Okay. So that's what they want to say. So, hey, all doors are open for you. It's all about you. Whatever you want to do, change whatever, not change whatever. You know, it's all about what you like, how you want your body and life to go. Okay. Let's read again about the, um, first chakra it says um, <clears throat> the meaning of this first chakra is root and it is the first chakra that acts as our root and is concerned with our connection to the earth and our very basic fundamental needs for survival sustain shelter and health of our physical body and safety if the if the energy of this chakra is depleted or blocked, our connection to nature and the world around us may be weakened. As a result, we are likely to feel spacey or ungrounded and less stable. In this condition, we may neglect our physical needs and we may become unhealthy and weak as a result of our neglect. And the energy of this chakra is overstimulated we may become too attached to things of the physical world and place too much importance on material material wealth and possession we will be unable to develop the higher levels of our natural nature because we are afraid to risk losing these possessions a miser a person who is unable to enjoy their wealth for fear of losing it is a perfect example of the energy that chakra being out of balance Okay, base chakra, so color red. Okay. So, yeah, um, if you, you know, say you are a model or actress or something, and a certain way you have to look, singer, and you can't be yourself, you might have to think about that, okay? Uh, it says uh, base, the color red, lotus four petals, near the sacral, uh, whatever that word is, joint at the bottom of the spine, moves in a clockwise direction and connects to the physical auric body, tower, lower back, uh, adrenal glands, blood, skeleton, feet, knees, hips, teeth, nails, rectum, and spine, physical ability, security, self-sufficiency, and responsibility for self, connect to the earth, survival instincts. Go outside in nature and, uh, sorry about that, my car a little pulled up. Go out of nature and Mother Nature might give you an idea. You might think of something great to do if you're stuck and you're with somebody that maybe want to have you looking a certain way, you know, controlling you or, or you feel that you have to be this certain way. So maybe go and just, you know, calm down because uh, you don't want to get stuck. 
you want to be able to be versatile. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and taking care of yourself all at the same time. Go barefooted, hug a tree. You know what I'm saying? Get some insight, listen to the birds and stuff. Tweet, tweet. Go look at the river if you buy some water. Take a swim, whatever. You know? <clears throat> Let's see what the third set says. Jimmy Jail. Okay. Okay, let's see. Two more. Work on your arms, wrists, fingers, massage them. Okay. So, yeah, we're just talking about um, those parts of the bodies. Uh, that is uh, the fourth chakra, heart chakra. Middle of the chest moves in clockwise direction, connects to the astral body, emotional aura. Th thymus, heart, lungs, circulation, hands, shoulders, breasts, and upper back. Love, generosity, compassion, and forgiveness. Giving and receiving unconditional love. So if you're having problems in those areas, that could be it. So just massage yourself and relax. And, you know, remember, like I say, Mother Nature. Go and put your hands and all that in Mother Nature. And she'll heal you from all that. See everything in the body is in the hands. Top it over is the brain, you know. Whatever you're having problems, teeth, eyes, whatever it may be, you know, and uh, go enjoy her, you know, or go get a massage or, or a manicure or whatever you may need, but be careful with those chemicals, I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, uh, if you have an arthritis in those, just, you know, relax and find out more um, videos on that and take care of that, okay? Then we got the hands again. They stress that. Okay, learn how to protect yourself against lower entities. So make sure you do that. Make sure nobody's sending you nothing. Protect yourself, okay? People are so jealous these days, especially if you're in the limelight and you look good and you're beautiful or whatever. You don't have to even look good. People just be jealous for no reason. You know, so make sure you have to protect yourself from lower entities, like I say. All your ancestors, they'll tell you. Stop watching TV on the phone for a day, taking it away. Stay strong. Don't fear nothing. Don't panic. Just little by little. Realize what's going on. Check it out. You know what I'm saying? See who around you that need to be removed. You know? Little by little. So, yeah. So, let's see. Let's ask a question. Um, are you protected? Okay, let's see. Okay. Let's see. Learning to protect yourself by your mindset, by your thoughts. What are you thinking about? Who's putting something in your ear? You know? Because, you know, we only supposed to have, meet certain people, and you're supposed to keep meeting people, and, and find out who's good for you, or what le lesson you learned off of that person. This one keeps sticking out, so we're going to take this. Okay. Um, first chakra again. I trust that my instincts are correct, and I let my natural intu intuitive feelings guide me forward. I will know what I need to do and how to respond with wisdom to situations that come my way. I have an innate desire to be of service in life. As I tap into the feeling, this feeling, I will know what service I am called to do. I believe in myself. Boom, there it is. Jimmy Jam. Okay. We already read the first chakra already, right? So that's what it was for you. So okay, Jimmy Jam. That's what I have for you. Hope you enjoyed it. This your girl Ruth signing off. And like I said, I hope it helped. And uh thank y'all for coming. Would y'all like, subscribe, share, and comment? I really appreciate it. And until next week, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.